Go ahead, man. There goes Jonah. At the end of our meeting with the home designer, Josiah comes in this door and says, Jonah's gotten into a dirt bike accident. You need to come. He said, go get mom and papa. I think I broke something. I was feeling sad and I hoped he wasn't too hurt. We go to him and clearly he's down, hurting. He's conscious, talking. Uh, we try out a few things, uh, to, you know, try to move the leg around and then decide we should probably take it to urgent care make sure there's nothing serious. We found out at urgent care the hip is dislocated and he recommended that we go to Missions ER since they have a pediatric emergency room. A little bit after we got to the ER, Rebecca got united with us. They don't leave the needle in, okay? It doesn't get left in. And lots of waiting until the procedure. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah. Till finally about midnight, he goes down. They tell us five, 20 minutes. We're just going to knock him out, put the hip back in, bring him to. Go to go in. Goodbye, buddy. Be right back before you know it. We'll take great care of him. Take great care of him. Bye bye, bud. But the 20 minute mark, we started kind of freaking out. It's been almost 20 minutes. It's been over 20 minutes. Since they were supposed to do surgery, it was supposed to take five minutes, so hopefully they're. Well, they started, started late. They said it was going to take five minutes. But when does that mean? Like, all in here. Luella? Luella. You, don't, you guys don't look like Luella. No. no. All right, I'm sorry. Well, they said five minutes, but they also said 30 minutes, so I don't know. And then, sure enough, here comes the doctor. That can't be good. Or maybe it is good. Maybe it's over. Well, hey. 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 Bad news. Uh -oh. <laughs> Nothing's wrong. It didn't break off or anything like that. Yeah, the joint wouldn't go in. What that tells us is there's a muscle or something that's just gotten in the way there. Uh -huh. It's kind of slid around there and it's sitting in between the ball and the sock. So what that means is we just need to open it up so we can sweep that back out of the way and put okay. it back where it's supposed to be. Okay. okay. I know. <laughs> This is super scary. Yeah. Uh, we're going to take good care of him. We're going to get it done. Okay. Does that mean he's going to have pins and all that no, stuff? No, shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Not planning to put any hardware in there. So right. it's really just a question of kind of getting back in there and kind of basically getting what we call a retractor in there. Something to slide the stuff that's blocking us from getting it back in out of the way so that it will just sit back in there then. So that means. Another surgery right now while he's down. She estimated about two hours. Just a lot, like what happens if like 
now there's more like mm -hmm. risk and more more and more and more Should we go outside? Yeah, I want to go outside and get some fresh air. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go outside. One hour in, they surprise us with an update phone call. Hey, this is Andy of the Operator. I just wanted to give you an update. Okay. Uh, we're still working. Okay. Uh, we're still pretty underway, so I just wanted to let you know that you're doing okay, all right? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, so we will try and keep in touch with you. Okay. So keep hanging out for us, all right? Okay. What Did you guys anticipate a time... Or is uh, it still too early to tell? Yeah, we can't really like, okay. make time on this, but uh, she is steadily working away. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, yeah. bye-bye. That was so nice of them to call. Cause... How do you feel? Hour into it. It feels long. It feels really long. It feels really hard. feels really not good. <laughs> like, I'm just not used to not being with my babies. All of them. Like, we're very separated right now. Like, Jonah's in the hospital. My baby and my other babies are at home with a babysitter. It's just hard. It's just really overwhelming feeling of, like, and if, like, I'm just, like, distracting myself, and it feels weird. It feels like it feels like I shouldn't be distracting myself, but like, I don't know what else to do. Like, I can't just sit here and think about it or I'm gonna go crazy. So I have to distract myself. It's 20 till midnight. So we're gonna go up and be close to the room. So they don't have to call. They can tell us personally. I know. I just wanna see my boy. And we wait and wait and the two hour mark comes and goes really. 2.30. It's been two hours. It's been over two hours. That's all it was supposed to take. She came at 10. Well, she said they had to get something. So I'm assuming 10.30. I'm freaking out. Now, now the worst case scenario and I'm thinking in my head. So I ask Rebecca, she seems calm. I say, you know, could there any be like complications from the surgery? Of course, that was a mistake, since she freaks out. But I was really thinking, oh my gosh, what if this, what if my boy dies? What if something goes wrong? It's not been going good for us. And three hours comes, and then finally four hours, uh, we are notified that he's okay, and they're coming up out of surgery. Okay. Well, uh, it seems back in the pocket, and she's just closing every about 45 minutes before she's out there to come and talk to you guys, okay? And she's doing well, okay? Okay. All right. Thank, okay. thank you. You're, you're welcome. All right. Okay. He's all right. He's all right. 45 more minutes. It's over, though. It's over, though. The danger's over. She's, she's, she's wrapping it up. <laughs> I just want it to be over. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. We made it. But why is it taking so long? It just takes time to wrap it up. Do you want to go home? No. <laughs> so the hip is in the socket. Okay. okay. Always in. Um, it did come loose as we were putting it back in. Mm. So he's got two screws in it to hold it. Nice. I know. Uh, for forever? Yep, they'll just stay in there. They're stainless. Okay. Um, so they don't, I mean, they don't do anything. You know what I mean? Like they don't degrade over time, that kind of thing. You know, hypothetically, you could talk about taking them out. Um, we usually don't recommend it because it takes a while for the bone mm. to fill in those screw holes. 
Yeah. Yeah. This keeps going downhill, doesn't it? It does. It does. It was just going to be popped back in, and then it was going to be surgery, and now it's he metal pins in his two stainless steel screws. body for the rest of his life. Because you're not going to get them removed unless they start causing problems. I know. Right? It's another surgery. Back. Hey. It's still Hey. It's not. No, it's it hurts where the muscle used to be. Yeah. Did they tell you anything? They told me it was done. Oh, good. It's done. I want, I want. You, you want, want some water? Yeah, we got some water. It's in Papa's. You in pain? Yeah. Well, they're going to give you some pain medicine. Yes. Yeah, they had to have surgery. And you had to get screws put in your hip. It's okay. It's okay. You do. It's okay, but we will work with the doctor if we have if we decide that we want to take it out. She said she'll do that. It would just be another surgery. So we just have to make decisions. Okay? It's gonna but be all that's right. why it hurts, okay? That's why it hurts. You're, you're you're put together. You also got you in a pink cast. You're in that. It's in a pillow. Is it tonight? You're in a pillow. Your legs are in a pillow. I definitely like the space that I'm yeah. to like this one. All your friends, this is your kids. You're gonna tell your kids this story. Jenna wants to be turned I towards the said. outside. You're the first to ask for that. Farmer boy. Can you feel me touching you? Everything feels normal. It's not sleepy. A little bit. A little bit right there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, my whole foot feels a little sleepy. Okay, how about here? A little bit sleepy? Yeah, okay. So the nerve that goes to your foot sits back there behind your hip and you get it banged up and bruised up like this and it's gonna feel a little sleepy for a little while, okay? That gets better though. The thing that we know though is that there's nothing wrong with that nerve because you're able to use the nerve to move all your muscles really well. So like for example, yep, exactly. Lifting that foot up, pushing it down, exactly, yeah. Can you lift those toes up? Good. He's very lethargic. They did. They keep he keeps saying he's in pain, so I keep socking it down. Am I gonna be okay? You're gonna be okay. The amount of pain medicine I'm taking. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna be okay. You look swollen. They look swollen. Mama's divided between two babies. Little baby, big baby. I love how you face the window, baby. Yeah, he wanted to face the window. It's just light, really. It's not yeah, great of you. You're such an outdoor guy. Yeah. You don't like being inside. That was the first time you've been asked that. I'm sorry. I'm glad you're all right, buddy. Okay? I'm going to go. I'm going to go look out to the farm. Take some care of some business. Do all that kind of stuff. Be back. Okay? Love you. Love you too. It was a long night, a little bit of sleep. Come home. Okay. <laughs> hey, tractor. Is that what you said? Tractor.
Yeah, we're gonna aim the tractors here. Hey, buddy. Hey, you've been holding down the foot nicely. In a little bit, we'll all go check the chores, okay? okay. Luke, help you all right? Yeah. The next day, without Jonah and Papa, was, um, it, it was harder. Because Mila and Luke had to do the chores, but me and Luke had to divide them up, and that made it easier. It's pretty hard. I had to do f three other chores, but I don't do. Inside, I made lunch every day, and then I cleaned up the kitchen, and I did dishes like I normally don't do. Look at Maybe this. Oh, wow. Cool. Just in time. Yep, we just finished. Man, I'm so hungry, too. We had a friend stay with them last night. The show must go on. The show must go on. The, the chores must go on. The animals don't care if somebody's injured. They still gotta move. They still gotta drink. They still gotta eat. I had to press through and eat later in the day. New lambs are gonna come, whether we're ready or not. It's already on the schedule. New sheep coming at five. We're gonna quarantine them down here. Everything accumulating to then the CT scan results, it's finally like you, um, you have some time to think and I'm like, is this really happening to me? You, you are almost moving as in if in a dream. I've been getting some office work done. Eating up a little bit of lunch. Rebecca just texted though. The CT scan? You guys wanna know? Yeah. Bone shard fragment. She's gonna need another surgery tomorrow. There were so many problems in the surgery, and now that didn't even do it, and we're gonna have to go back in, and here's the CT scan. Meaning we're gonna be more, this kid's 14 years old, he's had two surgeries in two days. That's when the reality finally started to grip me and say, I'm. I'm here, look at me. Nothing. When I was doing chores, it was quite odd because it's like the middle of the day. I'm never doing chores in the middle of the day. I'm doing chores in the middle, in the beginning of the day or at the end of the day, never in the middle. Uh, so it feels surreal. Happy, 3.8. So there are challenges when you go to do chores it's like a double-edged sword. On one hand, you don't want to do it because you, you need to be doing other things, your mind's in other places. But on the other hand, it forces you to do it and forces you to move. In this case, you know, I took off my shirt, got the sun on me, got moved. Uh, you know, we've been sitting around a lot. It's a double-edged sword, so good and bad. Oh my gosh, we're gonna miss Jonah for weeks. He's coming back, but we're gonna miss him for weeks. As Jonah stabilizes and the adrenaline goes down, thoughts come through and it's like, oh crap, I'm losing my right hand man. I'm doing chores that he would normally do. It's the kind of stuff he does. Ignite this fence, calf separate. That ain't happening. This farm sitter can't come tomorrow or the next day. So it's on Josiah and Lily and me to switch off with mom and come check over the kids. I'm going back tonight. Everything has a, is, a, is a blessing and a curse. And the curse is that it's all on us now. We are losing our main farmhand. The blessing, I know we will all come more appreciative of each other and understanding what the other does. Look who's here. Bearing food. We brought food meals. Yeah, thank you guys. We brought special. This is all Lorraine. This is not me. This is Lorraine. Special things He's taking all you. the credit carrying it in now. <laughs> I, I just carried it in. That's it. Yeah. Homemade tortillas. All right. yeah, that one's not for Look you. Look at you. I love it. <laughs> oh, you made one for me too? This is breakfast for Heck you yeah. because this is just eggs Yay. and bacon. And then this is breakfast for tomorrow. Sweet. So everything's labeled so you shouldn't. Man, thank you guys. This is for Jonah. This oh, is yeah. special. Okay, cool. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna put it right here. This okay. go, all goes to Jonah tonight. Good. Thank you guys. Okay, good meal from good friends. Thank you, so the land. Look. Grandpa and Grandpa are here with the sheep. Oh, 
But we don't have a hard time differentiating them. They're darker. How'd they do? Great. There it is. Looks like we're adding some color and diversity to our farm. We got the runs though. So hopefully that's gonna work itself out. It's been a weird day. Uh, upset and conflicted with what's happened to Jonah, but we get new sheep. Life goes on. Hey, tomorrow, tomorrow he's gonna have surgery. You guys wanna join us for that? That would mean that would I mean that would mean a lot to us, like Jason and Lorraine bringing us dinner. You guys just showing up just shows us so much support, and we love and appreciate you for that. And I'm sure you want to know for those of you that love Johnny, we're gonna know how that turns out and go along that journey with us. So that'll be in the next video, uh, his 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 journey into surgery times two. Ah, oh, poor, poor little guy. I think one thing you'll get out of this is you'll just. Identify with us as you watch us do this life balance when bad things happen. How do we still get chores done? How do we get dinner? Tonight, it's and tomorrow, it's friends helping us with dinner. It's us doing a switcheree that farm center is not available tomorrow or the next day. So Rebecca and I have to switch out in the morning. So I think that'll be interesting for you guys to watch, and we would definitely appreciate your support. Thank you. That'll be in the next video.